Greetings folks and welcome to Vinyl Therapy Sessions, the Dune 2021 House Atreides Collection Edition. I am your host Coco Smooth and as you can see I am showcasing one of the most anticipated movies of this year's Funko Pop Collection or Dune. 2021 it should have been due in 2020 but it's you know covid kind of messed all that so <laughs> here we go we got instead uh yeah 2021 a whole year delay and so you'll notice that i specified house atreides edition because for whatever reason, when I when I picked up the set, um, Vladimir Baron Vladimir Harkonnen is not was not in the set. Um, I will be picking him up on his own later on, but uh, serendipitously, he's not of the House of Atreides. But I was able to get everyone from the House of Atreides so far that's in the set. Okay. So I'm hoping they do more uh, Dune Funko Pops, especially of the House Harkon and everybody else, so that I can, you know, do a video on it. But for now, I just couldn't wait any longer to hold off any longer to show off what I got. Okay, uh, this one in particular, this one was the Chase of uh, Limited Chase Edition of Paul Atreides in his full desert um, gear with his steel suit on. Um, Guys, I cannot emphasize enough how much I love this series. This Dune in general, man. Um, it started off with me watching the 84 movie, which everyone who read the book before I watched it, you know, said it was utter garbage because it just wasn't uh, close to the... It just deviated way too much from the source material, from what Frank Herbert had intended. A lot of different things as... <laughs> which was showcased in that movie right there uh, <laughs> but it holds a special place in my heart because that was my first encounter with Dune I fell in love with the sandworms and everything and I liked it the soundtrack and all um, while I read the book I ended up reading the book way after watching the movie a gazillion times you know I can see why people were upset but I was a kid when you know I saw Dune, not much soon, you know, pretty much soon after Star Wars and Junk, but yeah, this was my happy piece because this is the Chase, you know, limited Chase edition, right? Pretty excited about this. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a big deal when people end up watching this movie and they love this movie. This Funko Pop may go up in PPG pretty soon, so yep, Paul Atreides, the Chase one, and then there's regular Paul without his uh, mask on but still with his still suit and all I'm hoping to pick up a Cheney either Cheney or Chani I always imagine it was Chani not Cheney but who, the, who knows how they're going to pronounce it okay we have young Paul Atreides played by Timothy Chalamet and his bestie Duncan Idaho played by none other than Jason Momoa who if you guys haven't been following his career he started off in Baywatch um, and I, I know him more for his stint in um, Stargate Atlantis which was a pretty awesome show then he graduated into doing Conan the Barbarian and from there Game of Thrones and just you know, that's where his star skyrocketing now. He was Aquaman and a bunch of other, you know, roles. But yeah, Duncan Idaho, I was skeptical about him playing the role since if you guys watch or read the books, <laughs> he shows up a lot. And many different aspects. This is definitely going to test his acting chops. All right? So, yeah, and the thing is... <laughs> Let's just say that he's going to, he's got a lot to, to study, you know, Duncan Idaho is not 
uh, a very stagnant character, as you'll find out when you guys get into Dune. And for the people who already know Dune, they know what's up. Um, next up, Lady Jessica in her full, like, conservative garb, I guess, before. She is the baby mama. <laughs> Duke Leto, her his concubine, because he can't officially be married to her because she's not royalty of any kind. Those political things, you know what I mean? She's um, <laughs> she's real powerful because she's part of the Benny Gesserit uh, sisterhood. Who, well, they call them witches because they got powers and stuff. You guys got to read the books because you'll see you understand or at least watch the movie please watch the movie I want this movie to do so well because it's only the first part and I picked up Duke Leto played none other than Oscar Isaac yeah and yeah Lady Jessica is played by Rebecca Ferguson um she's whatevs but I'm sure she's gonna do really good in this movie but yeah Oscar Isaac Duke Leto, the father of our young Timothy Chalamet, Paul Atreides, of the House Atreides. Yeah, this is a good look. It looks like he's wearing his uh, ceremonial garb. I guess they should do um, Gurney pretty soon. They should, but I don't know. They they I hope they don't wait too long because I can't wait to get more Funko Pops in this movie and. Guess what? A, a special treat. Yesterday I was able to acquire this out of nowhere in Target. I was like, yes, the Target exclusive Paula Trees in formal garb. Uh, <laughs> this is what he looks like most of the time when he's not in desert, you know, uh, steel suit uniform and stuff. So, yeah, it was a Target exclusive. Pretty excited about this. Um, yeah, so I couldn't wait to show this bad boy off because, you know, rarity and stuff. So that is all I have for this segment of Vinyl Therapy Sessions, the House Atreides edition from the Dune 2021 movie by Denis Villeneuve. I really hope you guys, if, if anything, please watch this film. I want to see a sequel, part two, part, real quick, because... The first movie is only going to be based on the first half of the book. It's just way too long to do all of it in one movie impossible. So please, you guys got to watch this movie because I, I definitely want a part two. It's going to be so good. The music, everything done, directed by Denny Villeneuve, who did Blade 2000. Uh, 20 or 20, 2020 yeah or 20 I forgot 20, 2049 2050 eh, I forgot what it is. <laughs> the sequel to Blade Runner all right you guys gotta watch that and he did Sicario I believe yeah he did Sicario and The Arrival all really good movies and he got um, Hans Zimmer to do the soundtrack and man from my understanding that Hans Zimmer created his own special instruments just to do this the music to this movie that's how hardcore he he took this project seriously so yeah guys I know a lot of y'all probably ain't sci-fi uh, fans but you guys got to support this um, all right folks that's all I got for this segment of vinyl therapy sessions uh, the dune house of Trades collection of the dune 2021 film I am your host Coco smooth and until next video ciao